Hi everyone. In this video, we're going to take our first steps in R. And we're going to use this wonderful software called RStudio that you have on screen. RStudio has different panels. Here you can see the console, which is going to be the main panel in, in the sense that all the output of our commands are going to be displayed here. We also have this environment and history panel, which are actually really useful because here we're going to have a list of all the variables that we have created. And the history basically records all the commands that we have introduced. And this is really interesting because sometimes we forget about something that we did in the past, and so we can recover that here. And this one is also really useful. So basically here I'm going to use three of them. Plots are going to summarize all the plots that we have displayed in the past, all the graphs that we have done in the past. Packages give us a list of all the panels installed. We can update individually or we can update all of them click by clicking here and then there. And actually you, we can create, we can add a new library as you can see here. Basically, whenever I click there, we're going to use all the functions in this library. If I don't want to fill the memory with all the variables, I can unclick that library here and then we detach this library. And then we have the help, which is the most useful panel right now, for, uh, at least for beginners. And if you click here in this home icon, then you'll end up in this main screen. And I suggest to you that after this video, you click in this an introduction to R because you're going to find really useful examples and, and, and that will help you in, in these first steps. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to create our first our script, our, our program. The, the simplest way to do that is click here and then we're going to create this R script. And then you, as you can see, the console is split in a new panel and this panel is going to have a list of all the open files that we are playing with. So the first thing uh, that I suggest is that you store this file on, on your hard drive. So click here and then choose a name. Let's say script.r. You can use lowercase r or uppercase r. Okay, doesn't matter. And now the second thing that you have to do all the time, and this is uh, for your mental health, you have to click in here, session, and then set working directory to source file. Why I'm saying that? Because later on we're going to play with different files, with for, for instance a CSV file or an Excel file. And the only way in which this, this file, this script is going to find this input is using the same directory for all the files. So as I was saying, set working directory to source file. As you can see here, we have this command, which is called set WD, but that basically tells where in your path is you're going to find this one. Okay? So we're go I'm going to follow these four steps, I'm going to show you how to create and assign new variables, how to get help, installing new packages, how to define vectors and repetitions, how to extract different elements of these vectors, and how to play with different types of files. So as I was saying, let's get started. So let's create a new variable called x, and we're going to plug the number 4 inside the x. We can do this with a symbol equal, like in many different languages, but I don't like the symbol because it's not fully, it's, it's not a fully assignment, so it has some hidden, uncomfortable stuff. So we're going to use the standard one, which is this arrow. Basically, this means that, that we are plugging number four inside variable x, okay? R is very flexible, so if, if I, I can assign with the same name now a string, Okay, and this is going to work. Okay, right now I haven't done anything, so I have this script. I haven't saved it yet because, as you can see here, this is in red with the asterisk. So if I click here, then now it's a store, and I can run the screen. Sorry, script. Click in here and run. And as you can see, I'm running these two commands. Okay, now if I type in the console x, as you can see, the value that you see there is the last one that we assigned it. Okay, I can as I can run just a simple command. This is very useful. For instance, if I run control intro, as you can see here, I'm running just the line in which I have clicked this, this combination of keys. And now, as you can see, if I click X here and I click return, then as you can see, X now takes the value four. Okay. So there are two ways to run the script line by line with control intro or the whole script with this run click. As I mentioned at the beginning, as you can see here, 
we have now a new variable and this takes the value x equals 4 okay so in this environment we have a list of all the recorded variables now if i run this line as you can see now x contains the variable string so it only remembers the last variable that we have assigned okay we can we can see all the variables here uh, and we also have this command which is a kind of list which is called ls with parentheses these parentheses basically tell us that we are running a function so if you run this on the script we have just one variable which is called x if we run the, the function print then we see the content of the variable if we want to know what type of variable we have there we run class x and as you can see this is a character okay string and character is the same in r if i now run this assignment again x equals four we can see the four here and now the class as you can see is a numeric value okay R doesn't distinguish between real and integer values, so uh, numeric is a general adjective for, for all that. At any moment, if I want to remove the variable, I can simply remove all the variables here, for instance, or we can use remove, the function remove, which is simply rm x, and as you can see, now the environment is empty. Okay, I'm, go I'm going to finish this video showing three ways in which you can you can get help, some help in our studio. The first one is the simplest one. Just click here in this search box with a magnifier and then type your command you want to learn about. For instance, print. And it tells you the name of the command and the library. In this case, it's the basic R library. Here you have some description about the function itself, the arguments and different versions of the function. You have a description here of all the arguments that you can get. And then some details references about the origin of this function and then the most interesting part which are the examples so what i love about the r function is that you can copy here this copy paste into your script and then you can run line by line so you can learn how to use this command okay this is one way to work with help the other thing that you can do is simply type your command here and then our studio gives you a small a very short description about the function itself okay and it tells you that you can press f1 if you want to get additional help so let's try with ls or rm for instance and then put your mouse here okay and press f1 and as you can see here it tells you that the function rm is called remove it's in the base library and then you have some examples at the end okay and the last one is using the question mark so question mark the name of your command for instance ls and then control return and then you find the same help here okay so three ways in which you can find help and this is going to be your best friend so whenever you have some questions some doubt go here or type these commands and and move on and that's all for today